Hello everybody, welcome to video, and today I'll be very well showing you how to make a mod menu, uh, but better. So, the thing about my, uh, this is my second time making, uh, this series, and the reason I'm making it again, <laughs> because the last series sucked, and this will be more easier, quicker, and better. Let's get right into it. This is episode one, setting up, so changing colors, installing everything you need, and of course, then we have, uh, what's else? Th then we have changing the names. Let's get into it. So first thing I want to do, go in the description, join my server, right here, my Discord server. Once you're here, let's go down, mod creating. Also, if you don't know what you're doing, uh, this should help you, but don't recommend it. Go mod creating, go to template, click the link now, and then click on download. So once this downloads, you want to go ahead, go back, go to VS. Now, if you don't already have Visual Studio, uh, it doesn't really matter what version you have. I recommend 22 because that's what I'm going to be using in this video. But in case you don't, click on this link. Then you just want to wait. Click on save. Open it up. Click on yes. Click on continue. I already have it, so it loaded really fast. And... Now, here it is. Uh, in case you already have it, then this will pop up. But if you don't, then this should be up or something like something like this. So if you ever get to this file, go to .NET Desktop of Development. Make sure this is checked on. Yeah, and then make sure Game Development with Unity is on. When you do that, you just want to click on Install. This is down here, right here. This little button is closed for me, but click Install. And yeah, so now you can close out of both of these. You should have both of them downloaded. Now you want to open up mango, uh, mango temp.zip. Go ahead and extract it. I already have it extracted. I do not want to do this. Oh, never mind, I don't. Go ahead, click extract. Click extract again. If I'm depending on what you're using, just I just the file explorer seems easier for me. Right here. Then you want to go ahead, open this up, and then open up the dot uh, cs proj. This is easier for me. Uh, just right click it, open with uh, Visual Studio 2022. Don't do any of the versions um, unless you want to. I don't really care. Uh, just not 2004, there's like something below 2016. Like, oh god. So, you will be probably right here. So, when you boot up, uh, you might have some errors here. We'll figure that out later. Open up megamodmenu.v5. So, click on this little thing. Don't double click it. Click on the arrow. Then go here. If this is an arrow, uh, an error, just don't worry about that until you get errors. Then you want to go right here and then double click the menu patch. So now what you're going to want to do, if you ever get these errors, there's a ton of freaking errors for actually no reason. You want to go to dependencies, assemblies. Then you just want to click on the top one, scroll all the way down, hold down shift click on the bottom one click delete on your keyboard click delete dependencies right click this add project reference browse then you want to go to your grill tag folder uh grill grill tag data manage go all the way down to play fab click add go to browse again go to grill tag data managed again and then go under here, under all the systems. Then start at Techni. You just want to highlight this and then everything under it. So there we go. Then you want to click on Add. Then go to Barris again. <laughs> now go to your Bepinex. Then Core. Then put everything in here besides for your Harmony 20. That just makes issues for me. <laughs> now click Plugins. Utila if you have it. Utila.dll. Now click OK, and this might take a second, it's all good, just do something else, I don't know. Now once you, once it says this reference is valid and sword, ignore that, click OK, OK again, all your errors should be gone. Now if you have like any color errors, it says like color is invalid or something, you have to make sure to run Gorilla Tag first on whatever version that you're putting on the mod thing. So I put it, I, I use the... Uh, I use this. I used another action.grill tag. Ignore that. You want to run it. 
just for like a little bit, maybe mess around, use some free cam, use some Unity Sporter, and then just close the game. Then it should be all good. So, once we're at menupatch.cs, we're gonna start with changing the name. So scroll down until you see draw, which is over here, which is right here. So once you see draw, you could also just control F, search it. Then you want to go ahead, this is the colors. So it starts as black, then it goes to blue, then it goes to black again. This is the gradient. So I'm gonna make it start at black. Maybe I'll go with red. Uh, also, if you wanna see all the colors that you can do, do color dot. You can do white, black, blue, clear, or just ignore it clear, cyan, gray, green, uh, magenta, red, white, and yellow. So I wanna do red, because it's a good color, I guess, for a mod menu at least. And then that's the colors. So then scroll more down, you'll see Mango Mod Menu V5.5. You want to change this that's inside of the quotations, and you want to go ahead and put in your mod name. So I'm gonna do Shibariti's Test Menu. Very good name. I, I, I guess, I don't really know. Then, now you want to, I guess you want to, I don't know, change the change the internal names, because you need to do that. <laughs> So what you're gonna want to do, uh, make sure you click File, Save All. That's a good idea. Go to assemblyinfo.cs, and you can change this up whatever you like. Uh, I'll just do shibdt's test, uh, and then I'll just copy of that for all of them. And then go to mod menu patches.cs, change your name with your name. So I'm gonna do that shibdt, your mod test, and then same with this one. Shibri T, your mod is test. And then same thing over here. You want to go mod menu patch, mod menu patch.cs, your name, Shibri T, your mod, test. And then the real name of your mod, like this will pop on the computer interface. I'm going to do Shiba GT's test menu. There we go. Now you can click on file, save all, close, close, and close. Now we're back to menu CS. And that's about it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, go to the next uh, part of the series to learn how to add buttons. Very cool. It's a thing called buttons. Wow. And yeah. So that's the first part of how to make a mod menu for GTag. And a button.